music here, business strategist, content expert. And today I want to share with you a quick visualization, a super quick visualization that allowed me to get into the right headspace today about tackling my to do's, the needle moving things in my business that I know bring the most impact and income, how I can serve our clients, serve my family, homeschool my little guy, and wear all those hats that the world demands of me today. And it starts with me prioritizing and getting in the right headspace. Now, this was inspired by a Peloton. If you don't know what that is, it's an indoor exercise bike that I was riding yesterday in conjunction with a meditation that I did this morning. So amazing how those two synchronicities lined up for me to be able to know what I have to do today. And it was a Mother's Day ride that I was catching up with a Mother's Day themed ride that I was catching up with yesterday. And the instructor was saying to clear the path. And she kept using this motion in her hands when we were on the bike. This morning when I was meditating, it was a courage meditation. And the gentleman, the instructor was saying, get rid of your past and stop worrying about your future. All you have is right here today in this moment. And I think about how many times we carry that into our day. We carry the time we lost our temper or lost our cool or got frustrated with our family in this COVID time. We worry about our jobs and our income and what the future is going to bring and what the weekend is going to bring and what tomorrow is going to bring. And we miss that ability to run right here and now in the center. So it got me thinking about what from literally maybe even an hour ago do I need to let go of? Because it's past. It's done. And then what can I stop worrying about in the future to be able to focus right here and now? And for me... It starts with the question, who do I need to be today? Like, I know I need to be a calm, patient mom with everything I got to navigate today. What does the world need me to be today? The clients that I serve, they need me to be productive. They need me to be focused. They need me to be on point. So those are the two questions that I use to help me clear the past and not worry about the future and stay right here in the present. When I'm thinking about the clients that we serve, we have a few big launches coming up, meaning that I got to keep the team and I got to keep everybody on task as we launch brands. We have an amazing client who owns a brick and mortar fitness studio, a cycling studio, and she's now pivoting online because she doesn't want to run these brick and mortar studios. She's in her you know, forties or fifties, I believe, and doesn't want to run these studios for the rest of her life. She wants freedom, which I think now more than ever in this time, we all want that. And I got to stay on point. I got to stay focused and productive to move that along today with the team. So that helps me answer that question as well. Who do I need to be? Who do I need to serve? What qualities do I need to have right here and now? So what I want you to do is get out a pen and paper. And I want you to write down all those things from the past that you're still holding on to. Your inability to forgive. And I'm not saying that you have to solve all these problems today and you have to let everything go today and you have to move through all your anxiety and stress and frustration and overwhelm. We're not going to tackle it and solve that in one day. That didn't come into your life in one day. So it's not as easy to just get rid of it in one day. But you can start putting the pen to paper and start thinking about it, and then start to be intentional about visualizing it. So what have you not been able to let go of? What's pissed you off? What overwhelmed you? Who's made you mad? What, what things have you done in the past that you're not proud of? All that weight and that guilt and that stress and that anger that you're carrying, write it down. 
Again, not saying you have to resolve it, just write it down. And then what are all those things that you worry about in the future? Your job, your finances, your home, your loved ones, your health, your children, what exactly are those things that you're worried about in the future? Write it down. Put it on paper in front of you so when you visualize getting present, you can see yourself clearly moving the past and the future away so you're running right here in the present. I hope that serves you. I hope that helps you. I hope you'll do the work. You know, that's been the thing that's really helped me excel in my business and my life and be able to do things and make impact and make income is that it's been consistency. It might be ugly, messy, awful. It might be a shit show some days, but I do the work and I see what comes out of it. It doesn't always have to be right. It doesn't always have to be perfect. So that's what I want you to go do. If I can serve you further, www.lisapizik.com. Let me know, post below. How does this thought and this visualization work for you? Can you see yourself clearing the path? Post that below and I would love to comment and serve you and coach you in the comments. Thank you so much. I wish you the most present, productive, and just kick-ass day. Bye for now.